The human body is a complex machine that relies on many different systems to function correctly for it to work properly. Sometimes, either through a genetic mutation or a virus or parasite, something goes wrong. There are thousands of diseases, but some are much stranger than others. Here, we count 10 of the strangest diseases known to man. 10. Fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva Fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva is a very rare disease affecting only 1 in 2 million people. It is a disease which causes bone to form in muscles, tendons and connective tissues. The bones also grow over joints which lock limbs in place which eventually completely paralyzes the sufferer. There is no treatment at all for the disease. Any injury to the body results in bone growing instead of tissue repairing itself like in a normal person. Surgery often results in bone growing quickly at the surgery site. There are no group of people more susceptible to the disease and doctors are baffled as to what causes it. The disease is sometimes known as human statue disease as eventually the sufferer's mobility is completely taken away. People who suffer from this disease literally become prisoners in their own bodies. 9. Persistent Sexual Arousal Syndrome You may think that this disease doesn't sound too bad at all, but people who suffer from it say that it completely ruins their lives. Persistent Sexual Arousal Syndrome results in the sufferer being on the verge of an orgasm 24 hours a day. Apparently, the persistent genital arousal has nothing at all to do with sexual desire, with the constant urge to orgasm becoming very painful. The condition can affect anyone of any age or gender and is so stressful that people have previously committed suicide due to it. There are various theories as to how the condition develops, but as yet, there is no outright cure. 8. Progeria Hodgkinson-Guilford Progeria Syndrome 3, or Progeria for short, results in children starting to look elderly, usually before they are 2 years old. Yet while their bodies advance before their time, their intellectual development and motor skill development progresses like a normal child's. It literally is a child trapped in an old person's body. Children with this syndrome have certain characteristic traits. A small chin, thin lips and very prominent eyes. Unfortunately, they do not only grow old on the outside. They also experience premature hardening of the arteries which results in a stroke or heart attack at a young age. As sad as this is, it is a life-threatening condition. 7. Aquagenic urticaria Aquagenic urticaria is actually an allergy to water. As the human body is composed of around 60% water, you may find it hard to believe that you can be allergic to the very thing you are made of. This is a rare condition with only about 40 people worldwide currently diagnosed. When people with this condition come into contact with water, it causes their skin to break out in painful sores and hives. In severe cases, a person's throat can swell due to the allergy, which is obviously life-threatening. Doctors are unsure as to what causes an allergy to water, but some think that sufferers have elevated histamine levels and that this plays a role. One can only wonder how people with the condition survive. Things we take for granted, such as drinking and bathing, can be life-threatening for them. 6. Congenital Insensitivity to Pain This is another illness that sounds like it may not be so bad. I mean, who likes pain? People who suffer from this disease cannot feel pain in any part of their body, even when badly injured. However, this is a lot more dangerous than it sounds. Pain is a very useful way for the body to tell you that something is wrong. Without this warning, you risk getting even more hurt. A person with this disease, for instance, could stand too close to a fire and suffer severe burns without even knowing, whereas a normal person would quickly move away. Often, one of the first signs that you are suffering from an illness or disease is pain. Without feeling it, you risk disease developing further before it can be realized. People who suffer from congenital insensitivity to pain have to inspect their bodies very carefully on regular occasions to look for early signs of injury or disease. 5. Tree Bark Skin Disorder For some people, a single walk can cause them distress or embarrassment. Imagine what being completely covered in them feels like. There is a disease called Epidermodysplasia varicoformis 2, which is an inherited skin disorder whose main symptom is eruptions of wart-like lesions that can occur anywhere on the body. People who have a severe form of this disease are often referred to as tree people, as the warts can take on the appearance of tree bark. The lesions are caused by a subtype of the human papillomavirus, or HPV. In most people, the HPV virus doesn't cause any marks on the skin, but with people suffering from epidermodysplasia varicoformis, the virus causes these unsightly lesions. 
Another worry is that the lesions are susceptible to turning to skin cancer. There is no known cure and people with severe forms of the disease have to resort to having the lesions cut off during quite extensive surgery. 4. Methemoglobinemia This rather strange disease is also known as blue skin disorder. This disorder means that due to an enzyme deficiency, people who suffer with methemoglobinemia have blood that is brown in colour. This, for some strange reason, then leads to their skin, in Caucasians at least, being blue. People who suffer from blue skin disorder also suffer from fatigue very quickly. The Fugate family of Kentucky, USA, have this genetic condition running the family. It led to them being known as the Blue Men of Kentucky. 3. Elephantiasis Mosquitoes have always been a pain in the neck, sometimes literally. They have brought nothing to humanity except misery and suffering. They have long spread diseases such as malaria and West Nile virus. Another unwelcome gift from the mosquito is lymphatic filariasis, which is more commonly known as elephantiasis. Elephantiasis is caused by a parasitic worm that can be transmitted by a mosquito bite. The worms live in the lymphatic system of the infected host and block lymph nodes, obstructing the flow of lymph within the body. This results in serious swelling of the affected limbs. It occurs more commonly in the lower limbs, giving people large, swollen legs. Once a person is infected, it can take years for the limbs to swell. Treatment can be given in the form of drugs, but the best form is prevention, although there is currently no known vaccine. 2. Porphyria Porphyria has some very strange symptoms that may sound more like they belong in a horror movie. Porphyria causes sensitivity to sunlight, which results in painful blisters. It makes ingestion of garlic result in severe abdominal pains, and it makes the gums recede, giving the appearance of fangs. Does that remind you of anything? No wonder this is also known as the vampire disease. Porphyria is the name for a collection of disorders that result in a buildup of chemicals called porphyrins. This is due to a disruption in the production of hemi. Hemi is an iron-rich component of haemoglobin that makes blood appear red. There is no cure for porphyria, but sufferers are treated with regular blood transfusions. As long as they don't take it directly from my neck, I'm happy. 1. Trimethylaminoria Imagine constantly smelling like you work in a fish market. People who suffer from trimethylaminoria 7, also known as fish odour syndrome, emit a strong, fishy smell through no fault of their own. The smell is excreted in sweat and urine and is even prominent on their breath. This is a rare disorder that causes a defect in the production of inflavin enzyme FMO3. The condition is usually hereditary and is more common in women than in men. It is suspected that the female hormones, progesterone and oestrogen, aggravate the condition with symptoms becoming worse once the sufferer reaches puberty. In later life, symptoms are more notable during menstrual periods and during the menopause. Doctors are baffled as to what the actual cause is and how to treat it. It has been found that avoiding certain foods that contain trimethylamine and its precursors help with symptoms. That means that sufferers have to cut eggs, peanuts, seafood and cabbage family vegetables out of their diet. That brings this episode of Curious Tents to a close. Please feel free to leave your comments and make sure to subscribe for more videos.